I got my first HelloFresh delivery. Let's see what is in here. Oh, okay, so I got a mushroom and soy ramen with fried onions. And I did do the vegetarian, by the way, because my husband and I do not eat any meat. Um, apricot, almond, and chickpea tangine, tangine with zucchini, basmati rice, and charmoula. What's a charmoula? Okay, I do a lot of cooking, and I have never heard charmoula. That's interesting. HelloFresh perk steals. This one... My husband is not going to like, but I'm really excited for it. Barbecue pineapple flatbreads with caramelized and pickled onion. My husband hates pineapple. Maybe I can pick the pineapple off for him. Okay, so let's open it really quick and see what we got. So there are three bags packed in here. And uh, let's put this down here. So these are the meals in here. So we have the apricot, almond, and chickpea jean here. And we have ooh, pineapple barbecue, barbecue pineapple flatbreads. And we have the mushroom and soy ramen, which I'm like so tempted to make right the frat now. Don't forget about ingredients, which may be hiding under the ice. Um, there are no ingredients under the ice, but look at how huge these things are. Clean and dry, set aside, and recycle. You can recycle these. That's kind of cool. God. Oh my god, it's like weightlifting. If you're wondering why I'm in my not in my kitchen, if you watch some of my other videos, I don't have a kitchen. We're remodeling our kitchen. I have a stove. That's it. I don't have a sink. If nothing in my kitchen, it is naked. But the new dishwasher's here, blah, blah, blah. I'll put a little card up to when I showed my kitchen design and what's coming. Even though I don't have a kitchen, don't judge me. And my stove is so old. The new stove is on back order. It's coming. April 27th. I have like a little TV table thing next to my stove and the top of the dishwasher to prepare food on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But when the kitchen's done, it's gonna be gorgeous. One of the reasons I got the HelloFresh is because I don't really have a kitchen right now. So I can't do a lot of food prep and stuff. I can't do a lot of cooking until the kitchen gets here. I wanted to try this also once the new kitchen is here. My husband finally said he wants me to teach him how to cook. She looks out the window to see if pigs are flying. Did hell freeze over? Are pigs flying? No, he's just excited about the kitchen too. So he wants me to teach him how to cook. This is a new thing. We're gonna try this. I'm just doing the three meals a week and we're gonna see how it goes from there. I don't know if I'll keep doing it or not. I just wanted to try it out. I fell for one of the special deal things. So I will check back in later and we will make this and taste test it. See you later. Thanks for watching, bye. Oh. Not by forever. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm on. So I showed you my HelloFresh box and now I'm finally making some of this. Oh my God, this angle makes me look so fat. No makeup, crazy hair, my usual life. So right now I'm going to make the barbecue pineapple flatbreads. Then here's all the instructions. The HelloFresh comes with these cards. I got three different things. I did do the vegetarian ones because my husband and I don't eat meat and I usually don't do dairy, but I want to try this. So, and you know what? It comes with fresh mozzarella and Monterey Jack. And I do have vegan cheese. So what I might do is I make it, bleh, bleh, bleh. I might make one of these with the cheeses in here and I'll make the other ones with my vegan cheese. That way I can try both. Well, you know, my husband can try the other one, but he hates pineapples, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. So this says prep time, 10 minutes, cook time, 35 minutes, calories, 720. Here's the bag. It tells what to get out. Aluminum foil, baking sheet, strainer, two small bowls, large pan, kosher salt, black pepper, vegetable oil, olive oil. So I'm just gonna take the stuff out of the bag first. Oh, look, it's fresh mozzarella in a bowl. There's the flatbreads. Cilantro, I won't be using this. I can't eat cilantro. It makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah, we're setting this aside and not using that. There's the pineapple. Oh, look at this big pepper. Oh my God, this pepper is like huge. Oh, I am dying, you guys. Okay, here's a little Monterey Jack. This is some kind of sauce. And we have a little red onion. But look at this. How cute is this tiny colavada red wine vinegar? Look how little it is. It's, I don't want to use it. I have a big one of these. I almost want to keep this because it's adorable. 
And I do have a big one of these that's already open. I am going to prep a little bit. It's gonna take a second because I have to clean this and I have to cut up this onion. I have to drain the pineapple and guess what? I don't have a kitchen. I'm gonna spin my camera around. This is what I have to work with right here, that and that. As I mentioned, we're doing a kitchen remodel. So look, I have no cabinets. I have nothing. There's no cabinets. There's no, there's no sink. That's where the sink's gonna go. There's nothing. This is it. That's what I have to work with, my fridge. All of my stuff is over here and boxed up. Oh my God, it's a mess. But the good news is in about, well, my new dishwasher is where the camera is sitting on right now. In a few weeks, I'm going to have the most amazing kitchen. Having nowhere to work and no surfaces and everything for a little bit and no kitchen sink, I can't wait until the kitchen's done. I am going to start doing more food stuff because I love to cook. I love to bake especially. I am a big bread baker. I love making homemade bread that takes like three days. I'm going to go prep this stuff and I'm going to drain this pineapple. And in the future when I do this, it'll go, but you'll see dogs running through all the time. Take a drink every time a dog runs through. I have a big glass of Coca-Cola. That's what I'm drinking right now. Mm. waiting for my mail to arrive. I have to do a lot of filming today, but I need to eat something first, so we're making these flatbreads. I'll be right back once I prep the stuff. Okay, I think I got it together here. I got my cast iron pan that's going to be heating up. I do have, oh, I can't take it out. In the, in the oven, I have the foil-lined large pan that these are going to go on, and it's heating up at 450, I think. I am on step one. I placed a foil-lined baking sheet on the top wrap and preheated the oven to 450. Produce is washed and dried, half peel and thinly sliced onion. I'm draining the pineapple over a bowl and reserving the juice. So right now, I have to slice this onion up. And I'm so bummed because all of my really cool knives that my friend Jeremy made, he's a knife maker, and his knives are my favorite ones to use in the kitchen and for cooking. I mean, look up at Quaker Hill Knives on Instagram, that's Jeremy. He hand makes all the knives. I mean hand makes, like he takes like a railroad spike or a piece, just any random piece of metal that'll make, that he can make into a knife. And he makes the most gorgeous, amazing, beautiful knives. And I've been walking around our woods and hiking a lot. And when I go out in the woods, we started finding a whole bunch of deer antlers in the woods and we've been collecting them. And I'm really trying to find some deer antlers for Jeremy that are perfect for knife, you know, knife handles. So that I want him to actually, I want him to make me a knife or two for my new kitchen that are made with the antlers that I found out in the woods out there. So that'll be kind of cool, I think. And the thing is too, that we really protect and take care of the deer here. We're not hunters or anything. We're like, if anything, I'm kind of like, um, oven's warmed up. Okay, we gotta get working here. Pickle onion, there's the onion, half peel, thinly sliced, drain pineapple, stir a quarter of the onion. Oh, I'm pickling the onion, okay. So you're supposed to pickle some of this. We're taking about a quarter of the onion, which is maybe about that much. This is weird for me to, t I'm following the directions I'm doing it right. If it was me, I would be doing my own thing. But for you, I am following the HelloFresh directions for all of our benefit. And it's a new thing for me to try following directions like this. We throw some salt, quarter of the onion, half the vinegar. Where'd the vinegar go? Oh, I set it aside because I'm actually going to use my sherry wine vinegar instead of red wine vinegar. I prefer sherry wine vinegar anyway, and I already have this open. I hate opening things when I have something open already. So we're going to put some of this in here. Eh, I'll put a bunch of it because I need to use this up before the new. There's the onion that's pickling. Truth be told, I'm not a huge fan of pickled onion. I need to heat up this pan. Let me see if I can turn this. Okay. The rest of the onion has to go in here. And remaining onion splashes water to, okay, six to eight minutes cooking this onion. While this is cooking, we're gonna cut up this poblano. I'm going to need a bowl for that. Oh, I hope, you know what? I should have put this in here. My bowls are all packed away too. I'm gonna put this in here. And so as soon as this warms up, I'm gonna start the poblano anyway. <laughs> Because I'm impatient. We are doing half quart and very thinly sliced poblano into strips. I got my little cutting board here I can use for the poblano. I should have heated up my skillet first, but I didn't. Oh, how I wish I had my Jeremy knives, but I don't. 
Um, funny story. I think I might have mentioned this in a video before. I was um I was a prep cook at a bar for a while back when I was younger. It was actually pretty fun. I really liked it. I did all the mise en place for the evening, and uh, I cooked the lunch. I did the lunches and. What was really cool is more than the, the owner of the bar trusted me to come up with recipes and he would say, is there anything special you want to put on the menu today? And I would see what we had and I would come up with different sandwiches and things. This is a lot of poblano for just these couple of pizzas. Can I just say, I might only cut up one of these. Okay, I don't know where this cut off, but my phone just decided to stop recording. So anyway, if, I don't know if, I, if this got cut off or not, but I was saying I love to go find cast iron in antique stores in town. So this cast iron pan you see on the stove, I got from a lady at an antique store in town, and she told me that was her grandmother's, this one was her grandmother's cast iron pan, and that she grew up her whole life like having all for breakfast with her grandmother made in that pan and I was like oh my god why do you want to sell this but okay and she said it was she said she just didn't do a lot of cooking in it and she just wanted it to have a good home she felt like you know somebody should you look at my head's totally cut I'm gonna scooch down here so she felt like she should totally like sell it just so it could find a good home and get use and be loved and I said I will always promise to take really good care I'm gonna put this up one more Take really good care of your grandmother's cast iron pan and I will do lots of loving cooking in it. And that was about 10 years ago and I have, and it's my favorite pan still. I love that it has a story and it has a history. Like somewhere somebody's grandma was cooking in this pan. So the thing about cast iron, a lot of people don't like cooking in it because they're like everything sticks in it. Here's a tip. Google cast iron pans, number one, and do your research because I did the same thing. I made the same mistake. Everything would stick to it. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Things do not stick in cast iron if two things, you season them correctly. Number one, you have to season them correctly. So I'm just heating up the onions in the pan here. You have to heat the oil up. Butter doesn't work very well. You want to use like olive oil or something like that. That Oh, high smoke point. So you want a high smoke point. I knew I'd remember what it's called. Olive oil is great because stuff doesn't burn. I think we're gonna like, what they want us to do is caramelize these. We've already done step one, two, and three. Pickled onion, I'm cooking. Oh, sorry, I keep hiccuping and burping. While onion cooks have corn, very thinly sliced poblano. Toss in a second small bowl with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I didn't even have a Red Bull today, I only had one coffee. Olive oil, pepper, my nifty pepper mill. Got it, Sam's Club. It's been lasting like two years now. <laughs> Sam's Club Pepper Mill for the win. And some salt, and I always use kosher salt. Sprinkle that in. Toss this around. Doo, doo, doo. Ooh, nice. So there's the poblanos and the olive oil. We're pickling the onions. These are all steps one, two, and three. My other onions are cooking in my cast iron here, but see how they're not sticking? So the key is high smoke point oil, and you have to heat it up first. You don't, you never put anything in a cold cast iron pan. I guarantee it will freaking stick. Let it get nice and warm and not overly warm. I usually put it on high, then I kick it all the way back to medium and I let it cool for a couple of minutes. Then I put stuff in, comes out perfectly. I need a spoon. Step four, caramelize. Once cooked onion is softened. All right, so I think I'm almost ready to throw the pineapple in here. It's it's softening pretty good, but I wanna, well, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I got. Well, it says you can start turning up the heat. And then our next thing is going to be put together the flatbreads. That's caramelizing really nicely. If you want some good caramelized onion, get you a cast iron pan. Okay, so I'm gonna throw the pineapple in here. So I'm going to brown the pineapple in here. Okay, brush or rub side, each side of flatbreads with olive oil. Oh, I'm supposed to put the pineapple juice in with the pickling stuff. Whoops, okay, well, it's in there now. <laughs> Make sure this guy, these guys don't burn. I do want to caramelize this really nicely, though, because the... See, I put the perfect amount of oil. See how nice this is going? Nothing sticks. And once this is done, see how easy it's going to be to wipe my pan out? See how brown that's getting? It's looking really nice. So let's prepare our flatbreads. Close to rub these on both sides with olive oil. Well, this is gonna get messy. I wanna keep watching and stirring my onions and my pineapples because I do not want them to burn. I just want caramelized, it does not mean burn. 
I had a brush, like a pastry brush I was going to use for these, but I'm just going to rub them like it said. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub. Don't just dump olive oil on them unless you want a real mess. I'm just dipping in like three fingers and rubbing this. Flip, flip, rub, rub, rub the olive oil. This is going to be really good, I think. I'm getting so hungry making this, too. All of my stuff that's going to go on the pizzas is right here and ready to go. I'll just throw the rest of the olive oil in there. This is the barbecue sauce. That's the sauce for the pizzas. We're almost there, guys. We're almost ready to assemble. And then I'm going to bake, and then I'm going to come back and show you what they're like. I want, like, a really nice, these nicely caramelized. I'm going to prepare these, and then I'm going to use this, and I'm just going to... I love this, by the way. This is my single favorite thing in the kitchen. I use it for everything. So what I'm going to do is lift them like this, and then just boop on the baking sheet. So we are spreading these with barbecue sauce, caramelized onion, pineapple, poblano, Monterey Jack, and mozzarella. I am going to make one vegan and one regular. These are almost perfect. I can add a little bit of salt and pepper. There we go. I'm going to just let these sit in the pan. I turned the heat off, but a cast iron pan really holds heat. That way I can let these keep caramelizing while I'm getting the rest of this together. I got my vegan chow shreds. That's the Monterey for the other one. I'm putting the barbecue sauce on. Making sure I'm still recording, sorry. Barbecue sauce on both of them. Da, 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 da. This is so weird for me. I like never follow recipes. So you have to top each with, I'm just gonna kind of like grab half. Top each with this. And as my pan cools down, I'll show you how easy it is to, once I pop this in the oven, I'll show you how easy it is to clean this cast iron pan. And you're gonna be like, wait, how did you do that? I use cast iron, everything sticks. Like I said, it's just, you gotta do it often and you have to do it right. And Okay, that one has a lot more pineapple than this one, but I don't care. Poblano, Monterey Jack, and mozzarella. Poblano. See, I told you this is like a ridiculous amount of poblanos for two fat, fat breads. They're not fat breads, they're low calorie. This is way too much poblano for two flat breads, UTW. I guess they're just going to be very poblano peppery. I've never had poblano peppers on a pizza, have you? Never have. This is new for me. This is not how I make pizza. Okay, we have to top it with the cheese. I'm going to have a bunch of extra of this cheese because I'm not using the mozzarella on mine. I'm only going to put it on the one. So this is going to have extra poblano, extra cheese, and not many and hardly any um, pineapple. My husband's going to be like, what the hell is this? I'm going to have, uh, you know what, I'm just throwing all the Monterey on there. This is going to be a super cheesy one. I think you top these with the pickled onions at the end, right? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so sniffly. The onions are making my nose run. So that's why, these are going to sit aside and pickle while these bake. Let me do some of my chow shreds. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to do a few of the chow shreds on this one. Not as much. So this is our vegan one. This is our regular. And... There we go. That's all I'm going to put on that one. Ta-da! Ta-da! And they're ready to go in the... I do have a very, very hot pan in the oven. I'm going to pull this out. So there's that. Drum roll. Let's see if I can get these on here without dropping them. So I'm just... This is why I love this thing. So I'm just going to put these right on here. On the pan that's already heated. Those are going in the oven. Let me bring my camera up so I can see them. There they are, ready to go in. You can hear it like sizzling. Oh my God, I will die if my camera falls into the oven. So I put them in. There they go. Ta-da! I'm really gonna miss this oven, by the way. They're, they're bringing, the new oven is coming um, next Wednesday, a week from tomorrow. It's the only thing that I'm kind of sad that's going is this oven. <laughs> It's a mess and it's really old, but this thing has never done me wrong. This oven has always been great. Okay, so I used everything. Everything's gone but those pickled onions. So we have to bake this for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
10 to 12 minutes, so I'm doing 11 minutes. Transfer to cutting board, top the cilantro, pickled onion to taste, slice into pieces, bite and serve. And this is what it should look like when it's done. We're gonna let that cook, but while I do that, I'm gonna just call this cooking without a kitchen. Should we call it that? Let's call this series cooking with no kitchen. It'll be really fun when I actually do have a kitchen. Here's my cast iron, not really dirty at all, as you can see. And this is all I do to clean it. Super duper coarse sea salt. I actually got this at Home Goods. This giant thing was $2.99 at Home Goods. Then I throw a bunch of sea salt in the cast iron pan, like so. Now it's still hot, but I do this all the time. Be careful, you wanna let it cool first. And then the sea salt, you scrub it around, the oil is still in there. But you use the sea salt as kind of the thing that is scraping everything off in here. See, and it actually does it scrapes off and cleans it, and I'm getting salt everywhere. I usually go over, you see me, I'm over the garbage can over here, and I'm just going to run straight in the garbage. Make sure everything's out. And if you've done this right, there you go. Look at that. Gorge, gorge, gorgeous. It's my favorite cast iron pan. Super clean, no water needed. It's already seasoned for the next time I need it. I'm gonna take a little break here and I will be back when I pull these guys out of the oven. Oh my God. I just ranted about this for like three minutes and forgot to hit record on my phone. <sighs> this is the first time, like I said, trying HelloFresh. Never tried it before, not an affiliate, nothing. I just wanted to try it. My husband wants to learn how to cook. I got this so that I can give him the things and kind of stand with him and help him. And when our kitchen's done, I'm gonna do cooking lessons for my husband because he never cooks. Never ever, I don't know how he lived before we met. Okay, I don't have plates because I have no kitchen, but these are really cool I'm, while we're waiting for this to finish. These are called Everspring and these are from Target. They're not cheap, but these are actually fully compostable paper plates and they're really sturdy. They're cool. They're, I believe they're some kind of like bamboo or something, but it actually says BPI uh, compostable right here. And I got these because I hate using paper plates and things I have to throw away. Oh my God. <coughs> Holy crap, this looks good. Let me turn this off because this thing's gonna be you really oh my god oh, the cheese kind of everywhere in this one look oh my god these look so good it smells so good whoa so let me scooch this stuff back on this one and so there is the regular one that's the regular cheese and here's my Wah, 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 sad vegan cheese one. But I actually, oh wow, that barbecue sauce looks so good. I actually prefer it like this. I don't like, I don't know, I learned to not like like super cheesy pizzas. God, I can't wait to have a whole kitchen. So you're supposed to, my pizzas don't really fit on these pans, but I like it because they're kind of floating on the top. And then you're supposed to take some of the pickled onions and put them on the top, which I don't really like, but I'm gonna try it because ugh, they came with and I'm being true to the recipe. I might not like this, but I'm gonna try it. You know, I might like it. Not putting as much on this one. My husband, on the other hand, loves pickled everything. So look, now I don't have to make him dinner. We're gonna test this later. Do you guys want me to record him trying it? and like see his response. I think I should. I also don't know where the hell my pizza cutter is. I told you everything is missing. It's a little hot. Hopefully I won't be screaming. Let me get this coke just in case. I'm taking one bite and then we're gonna call it a day because this is really hot, but. Oh my God. Wow. Hello Fresh. get a balsamic glaze. And I'm not gonna put it on his because I don't want it to get soggy. And I do like a little bit of balsamic glaze. Also, it's very fancy chefy, just like that. I used to hate balsamic and now I love it. 
It's an acquired taste. Not everybody likes it. But with the pickled onions and everything, oh my God, this barbecue sauce. <gasps> oh, oh my God. I like to be alone with the pizza. Okay. Here's the great thing. Things I would never put on pizza. Caramelized onions and pineapple and poblano peppers and pickled onions. I would never make a pizza with that ever in my life. Okay, there's a big piece of... There's a big whole bunch of pineapple in here. I want to try it with the pineapple and the pepper. Mmm. 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 I'm going to eat this whole thing. I'm eating this whole thing. Never ever in a million years would I like go, oh, I'm making a pineapple. Oh, another tip. See how I slid this under here and it's sitting up off the plate? It's actually space under it. So it's not sitting flat. This will stay crispy. If I let it sit flat on the plate, it'll get mushy on the bottom. After years of cooking for my husband and knowing stuff has, I have to cook ahead of time. If I let this sit flat on the plate, you could kind of see it better that way. See, I could put my finger under here. So you're not getting all that condensation under there. Isn't that sneaky? I do that all the time with stuff I make for him. So that way, I do that with grilled cheeses too. If anything you want to stay crispy, oh my God. Mm. Okay, he's going to love this. Mark my words, he's going to love this. And I'm going to film him trying it. How much do I, shh, how much do I bet he won't know there's pineapple? I bet he won't know there's pineapple in it until he like sees one. But I think it, I cleverly hid it under the cheese. Here's our pizzas. They're awesome. Cheers. If you try HelloFresh, let me know. This is my first time trying it, but holy crap, are these good. I would never in a million years make this. Never in a million years. And I love it. So I'm going to eat this. And thanks for watching. Our next ones we're going to make are the apricot, almond, and chickpea tagine. Tagine, tagine. And the mushroom and soy ramen. I'm really looking forward to this. Don't you wish you were here having this pizza? That sounds like Lydia. Lydia's here. She wants some pizza. See you the next time. Thank you, HelloFresh. Love you all. Like, subscribe. Talk to you later. Tell me what you're cooking below. Tell me if you want me to make you anything. Bye. <clears throat> That's awesome. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Got onions on it, which I wouldn't normally like, too. I know. Guess what else is in there? Um, it's something you can't stand. Take another bite. See if you could. It has very little. I can because I put it all on my side. But cauliflower? No, <laughs> it has pineapple caramelized in with oh. the onion. Uh, it's funny. Pineapple pizza is one of the few things that pineapple is acceptable on. Really? Because yes, I think it's disgusting. But oh my god! Okay, I caramelize the onion and the pineapple. It's funny, like some of my most hated things. So I interrupt. Pineapples, onions. You put pineapples, onion, and bacon on a pizza. Oh my god! It's okay. Best. Enjoy your pizza. <laughs> I needed the reaction, so yeah. Well, and uh, I put the balsamic on it too. Ooh, it's a hit. You can stop mocking my HelloFresh order now. He's still going to mock mm. it. Okay, eat your pizza.